pizza and burgers get into my belly. Hey guys, Dr. Bobby Stryker here with Flow Physique Factory Clinic is in session and today we are talking about kind of approaching the festive season and having the correct mindset so you don't screw up your whole year worth of training and dieting and all the other stuff that you've been doing. Now in Singapore, we've just celebrated Diwali, also known as Deepavali. And in some places, you'll be then going up towards Thanksgiving and then there's Christmas and then there's New Year's. And then in Singapore and parts of Asia, you've got Lunar New Year and it's just basically Partyville for a very, very long time. So then, of course, then you've got to make your New Year's resolutions. Yeah, usually the same thing again for a lot of us. Yeah, But what can you do? What can you do if you don't want to get completely derailed during this time? You know, you've worked out hard, you've gotten closer to your goals, or maybe you haven't, or maybe you just want to make sure that you don't want to kind of ruin everything, or you leave yourself in a decent place. So when you try really hard in the new year, you're in a good starting place. So... What's the key? I would say the key is up here in the mindset. Okay, so what am I talking about? Now, a lot of people, and myself included, I'm not going to lie, guys, I I love pizza. Jules, Jules can vouch for that. I like pizza and I like burgers. And back in the day, if I had a slice or two of pizza, it would be like, ah, screw it, the whole diet's ruined. I'm going to have the whole whole damn pizza now and I'm pretty sure I'm not alone I've heard this kind of same feedback from patients of ours and clients that I've coached over the years same story you just think okay I've just ruined the diet so I might as well just go out I'll just enjoy everything's ruined anyway and that's not good yeah um and like I said, I can easily devour an entire large pizza. We're talking 15, 16 inch pizza. I can devour one by myself with ease, with ease. So what can you do? You need to reframe this mentally. I think this is really important. And if you can do this, if you can think of it and use this analogy that I'm about to give you, you might be able to shape how you see um, food in general. And that's going to really help you to kind of stay on point and not deviate too much. Oh, that's, that's what I'm hoping. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do is think of your kind of food, your nutrition, your diet plan, like a shopping budget. Okay. Say you only have so much to spend each day. Maybe you can only spend like $30 a day, but one day you overspent and you spend $80, you wouldn't say, ah, screw it, my budget's completely ruined and go on a shopping spree and buy everything in the shop. You wouldn't do that, okay? You would probably take care in the next few days to make sure your spending's a little bit more in check to kind of balance it out. For some reason, we are smarter when it comes to other things. So like with finance, with money, we have this ability to rationalize it. We'd be like, okay, I've overspent a bit here, so I really need to be careful and I won't overspend here. And you'll be like that. No one thinks, okay, oh crap, I've ruined it. I've overspent. I'm just going to go all out. There's no point even trying to bother now. But for some reason with food, we do. We've eaten, we've gone eat eaten a bit more than we wanted to we've exceeded our calories for the day and for some reason when it comes to food it seems to be okay for us to say okay screw it it's out the window i'm just going to have the entire slice of pizza so this is where you need to change the mindset now imagine same as the budget scenario you've spent a little bit too much in one day but if on the subsequent days you kind of rein it in it's actually okay to spend a bit more on that one day. It gives you kind of a bit of freedom. So that means that overall, you might not be perfectly on point, but you'll be a lot closer to your target than if you just went, ah, heck, I'm gonna max up my credit card and just blow everything and then end up on the streets and fired and who knows whatever and a house gets repossessed and things like that. And you have to think of food like that. You know, you can have a slice of pizza or two slices or you can have a drink or two And it's not going to ruin everything. You can balance it out, perhaps, with uh, what you're eating and drinking in the next few days or how you're going to be training. You can kind of compensate for it. Yeah, even if you're overeating every day, if you kind of keep it in check, you enjoy a little bit and you don't go crazy, you don't throw it all out of the window, you will still stay much closer to your goals than you would if you say, heck, screw it, the diet's ruined, throw it out the window, I'm just going to eat whatever I want. There's no point. So this is the mindset. 
retune it, refocus it, reprogram that in your mind so that you can still enjoy foods, but you don't have to f- stuff yourself until you're completely full. And then that's when you feel depressed and you're like, oh no, what have I done? And it's like a huge setback. Enjoy the foods, but enjoy moderation. I know moderation is difficult when you've got the whole pizza there in front of you. But if you do, I think you're going to be able to enjoy more. You kind of get the best of both worlds, you know. You enjoy some pizza, some food and drink. And you still kind of enjoy better health and getting towards your goals. Now, we do sometimes say food is fuel. And it's not really a great way to think of food. It's so much more than that, especially for us as humans. It's it's a social thing. You know, it's a social event. And especially during the festive season, if, um, you know, if there isn't any COVID and all of that, if we're able to meet our family and friends, it's a real kind of, you know, breaking bread and all of that kind of stuff it allows us to kind of relax unwind and spend time with our loved ones and of course you should still do that but everything is important in moderation you can do that but if fitness and health is important to you you do need to kind of rein it in a little bit reprogram it mentally so that you can enjoy a bit but you think hey look getting into shape is really important for me so i'll enjoy a little bit i'm not going to go too crazy and if you do that you're going to be you know, much better in terms of your long-term goals and you're going to feel much better for it. So it's going to be a lot of mind over matter, folks. And I think even if you do go slightly off off course with this kind of method, at least it won't be by bucket loads like it could be if you just had a whole pizza every day for the entire festive season until the new year. So that's it, that's it, guys. It's just a short video. Just give you an idea how to reframe this thing mentally, how you see certain things yourself. I'm sure you see your finances and other things in your life in a certain way. But then you wonder, why am I not doing the same thing with my diet? Well, maybe you should be. So think about that. Food for thought, literally. So there you go, guys. Hope you've liked this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe, share it, and all of that stuff. Follow us on our social media pages. Check out our blog. And of course, our power plans if you're not sure what to do. So there you go. Take it easy. Stay safe. We'll see you guys all in the next video. Don't be late for your appointment. Laters.